Moment in Christ Channel, Welcome. Psalm 17 Hear the right, O Lord, attend to my cry, give ear to my prayer, that goes not out of feigned lips. Let my sentence come forth from your presence, let your eyes behold the things that are equal. You have proved my heart, you have visited me in the night, you have tried me, and shall find nothing, I am purposed that my mouth shall not transgress. Concerning the works of men, by the word of your lips I have kept me from the paths of the destroyer. Hold up my goings in your paths, that my footsteps slip not. I have called on you, for you will hear me, O God, incline your ear to me, and hear my speech. Show your marvelous loving kindness, O you that save by your right hand them which put their trust in you from those that rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of the eye, hide me under the shadow of your wings. From the wicked that oppress me, from my deadly enemies who compass me about. They are enclosed in their own fat, with their mouth they speak proudly. They have now compassed us in our steps, they have set their eyes bowing down to the earth. Like as a lion that is greedy of his prey, and as it were a young lion lurking in secret places. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is your sword. From men which are your hand, O Lord, from men of the world, which have their portion in this life, and whose belly you fill with your hid treasure, they are full of children, and leave the rest of their substance to their babes. As for me, I will behold your face in righteousness, I shall be satisfied, when I awake, with your likeness. Psalms 18 I will love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, and my fortress, and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler, and the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. I will call on the Lord, who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from my enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about, the snares of death prevented me. In my distress I called on the Lord, and cried to my God, He heard my voice out of his temple, and my cry came before him, even into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled, the foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken, because he was wroth. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils, and fire out of his mouth devoured, coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also, and came down, and darkness was under his feet. And he rode on a cherub, and did fly, yes, he did fly on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place, his pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of the skies. At the brightness that was before him his thick clouds passed, hailstones and coals of fire. The Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the highest gave his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. Yes, he sent out his arrows, and scattered them, and he shot out lightning, and discomfited them. Then the channels of waters were seen, and the foundations of the world were discovered at your rebuke, O Lord, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. He sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters. He delivered me from my strong enemy, and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place, he delivered me, because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands has he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord, and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his judgments were before me, and I did not put away his statutes from me. I was also upright before him, and I kept myself from my iniquity. Therefore has the Lord recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his eyesight. With the merciful you will show yourself merciful, with an upright man you will show yourself upright.
With the pure, you will show yourself pure, and with the fraudulent, you will show yourself devious. For you will save the afflicted people, but will bring down high looks. For you will light my candle, the Lord, my God, will enlighten my darkness. For by you, I have run through a troop, and by my God have I leaped over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect, the word of the Lord is tried, he is a buckler, to all those that trust in him. For who is God save the Lord? Or who is a rock save our God? It is God that girds me with strength, and makes my way perfect. He makes my feet, like hinds feet, and sets me on my high places. He teaches my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is broken by my arms. You have also given me the shield of your salvation, and your right hand has held me up, and your gentleness has made me great. You have enlarged my steps under me, that my feet did not slip. I have pursued my enemies, and overtaken them, neither did I turn again, till they were consumed. I have wounded them, that they were not able to rise, they are fallen under my feet. For you have girded me with strength to the battle, you have subdued under me those that rose up against me. You have also given me the necks of my enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them, even to the Lord, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind, I did cast them out as the dirt in the streets. You have delivered me from the strivings of the people, and you have made me the head of the heathen, a people whom I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me, the strangers shall submit themselves to me. The strangers shall fade away, and be afraid out of their close places. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock, and let the God of my salvation be exalted. It is God that avenges me and subdues the people under me. He delivers me from my enemies, yes, you lift me up above those that rise up against me, you have delivered me from the violent man. Therefore, will I give thanks to you, O Lord, among the heathen, and sing praises to your name. Great deliverance gives he to his king, and shows mercy to his anointed, to David, and to his seed forevermore. Subscribe to the channel and leave your like.